And are with us this morning, Republican Congressman Kevin McCarthy, the House Majority Leader out of California. Sir, good morning to you. And welcome good morning. Back Thanks for having to, me. To America's Newsroom. Thanks for being here. Senator McConnell also says he wants to work with the president. Now, what does that mean? On what? Well, we'd like to work with the president on places that we could find things moving forward. You know, America has a history in divided government achieving big things. Think back to Reagan and Tip O'Neill doing tax reform, or Bill Clinton and Newt Gingrich welfare reform, balancing the budget. But the difference was, remember after the big revolution in 94, Bill Clinton came out and said the era of big government is over? And our current president came out, and it's true, he thought he was running for a third term. He thought he won the election. We've been here three weeks, and he's offered seven veto threats on bipartisan bills that have more than 102 Democrat votes. So do you interpret that to be one of defiance? Or, or what, yes. what is that attitude that you heard? Well, I heard him time and again where he sat there and said he wanted to work with us and then offered the most veto threats in the history of any president of the State of the Union. You can't have it both ways. If you want to work with someone, then let's sit down, work the legislative process, and find a common ground at the end of the day. That's what we want to see happen. So do you think he's negotiating or do you think it's more than that? Is it more than that? I, I don't see negotiations on his side. We, we've sat down with him now twice uh, having lunch, talking about places we can work together, uh, from getting tax reform and others, and then he walks out the next day and says he needs tax increases. Uh, I think he finds a way not to come to a solution. Why is that? I'm not sure. I mean, uh, I've always thought it's better to have somebody that's been a governor to become president because they learn how to work with both sides than the current uh, situation that we have in the White House. Well, there's no optimism in your voice. Uh, does, does, that, does that mean Look, nothing gets done? No, I think we're going to see time and again, we put bills on his desk. And remember how we got welfare reform. We had to send it there three times. We got a House and Senate. Like I say, even though the president offered veto threats, 102 Democrats defied this president and voted for those bills. So we see that if we see that in the Senate and move that to his desk, uh, I think then maybe he'll listen to the American well, public. Well. Your boss, John, John Boehner, was asked about income inequality. Listen to this and I'll get you to react now from last night. Frankly, the president's policies have made income inequality worse. Uh, all the regulations uh, that are coming out of uh, Washington make it more difficult for employers to hire more people. Chief amongst those, I would argue, is Obamacare, uh, which basically puts a penalty or a tax on employers for every new job they create. Now, how do you communicate that message, if that's what you believe? Well, it's communicated, if you just look at their income, since 2009, the middle household income is down $2,000. If you look at all the facts the president gave at the State of the Union, there's a couple he forgot. There's two ways to lower unemployment, people going back to work or people giving up and not being in the workforce. Our participation rate is the lowest it's been since 1978, Jimmy Carter. Now, if people give up on looking for a job even, that means they've given up on their hopes and their dreams. And his biggest piece of legislation, Obamacare, cut the 40-hour work week. So who did that hurt the most? The middle income, and that's what we're seeing happen. Well, you mentioned so we try to. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you there. Um, no, go you, ahead. But you've mentioned the veto threat a couple times now, right? So he's going to challenge Republicans with these vetoes. You are going well, to challenge him on what? Fill in that blank. We're going to challenge him on every step of the way, like you watched this week. Look what happened around the world with Russian rebels back in Ukraine. We have abundance of liquid natural gas in America, where we can ship it to our allies, make them safer, not dependent. But federal regulation holds that up. We've got about 28 permits. It could create 45,000 jobs. We're going to send that bill this week over to the Senate and put it on his desk. So if he is for the American public and for our allies. He will sign that bill, not only create jobs, but move forward. We challenged him on Keystone Pipeline. We challenged him on 40-hour work week. Don't punish people for working. Hire more veterans. Don't have Obamacare make sure that veterans don't get hired. We've passed those bills in bipartisan, sent it to his desk. He tries to threaten so it can never get there. Let's get it to his desk and see what the American uh -huh. people say. There. So here we go. Kevin McCarthy, thank you for your time and a big day for you. Thanks Happy for birthday, me. by the way. Hey, thank you very much. Ha hashtag 5 I have no idea what that feels like, but happy birthday to you. Kevin McCarthy, well, thank you. Thanks very much.